Welcome to the Eye on Active Health Show with your host, Khalil Smith, and we have Eleanor Lopez. We're going to talk about um, her journey as a Herbalife Nutrition Wellness Coach and a personal trainer and what what keeps her on that journey, helping people and what value she gets from it. So I'm going to get right into this intro. Welcome back to the Auto and Active Health Show. We have Eleanor Lopez here. I'm glad to have her here. Uh, I've seen her work out a couple of times in the gym, so <laughs> I've been looking forward to this. So I'm pretty sure she could lift more than me in some areas, but we're not going to talk about that today. But <laughs> I want to talk about your journey um, as a wellness coach, why you started it, and why is um, just lifting, eating right, anything health-oriented, why is it important to you? Awesome. Hi, everybody. My name is Eleanor Lopez. I am from New York City, now living in Jacksonville, Florida, um, active duty sailor, and I am a wellness coach and a personal trainer, like you mentioned before. Um, I started this journey five years ago. Um, I got my personal trainer certification, and then that's when I was uh, stationed in Virginia. Then I got stationed in Florida back in 2017. And that's when things change for me. Um, It's a new environment, new atmosphere. I didn't know anybody here in Florida. So I got into super duper bad depression. I gained a lot of weight. I wasn't eating right. I was eating out all the time, eating everything you can possibly think of. That's what was, um, that kept me happy back then. And I gained a lot of unhealthy weight. And that made me feel even worse. So I said, enough is enough. Um, I reached out to someone I knew that was doing the Herbalife Nutrition. She guided me. She provided everything that I needed. I studied it. I fell in love with it. I lost 25 pounds the first two months. Then um, I continued to lose more weight, lose more weight. And that's when I said, I think uh, I need to share this nutrition with other people so they can actually achieve their goals. And it's not only about the nutrition, it's just the community that you gain when you're an airplane nutrition company, you're part of the community. It's amazing, the support, the love, the motivation, the inspiration is amazing. So I had to join the team and inspire others through my journey, show them the way with nutrition and fitness because they both go together. You can have one without the other. Um, and that's why I love it. Was it the community part that helped you the most with that journey? Cause you say yes. you lost 25 pounds. Yes. The community is amazing. They want you see you succeed. They want you see you do better. They te- text you, they motivate you. They send you messages. They give you all that little push that you need to be able to continue in your journey. A lot of people stop their journey because they don't have the support that they need. They don't have those people out there telling them, hey, you're doing amazing. Just keep going. Things are going to get tough. It's going to get hard. But if you continue pushing yourself, if you have that extra help telling you, let's go to the gym or make sure you ate healthy today or just checking on you, making sure that not only on your fitness journey, but in your personal level, make sure that you are doing okay. Because a lot of things, you know, when you going through a lot of stuff, different changes, especially being in the military, different place. I didn't have my family. I'm very family oriented. And being so far away from my family, that wasn't good at all. But at least I have those people right there that they made me feel like they were my family. So it made it better for me. Yeah, that's amazing. That's very important. Community, someone yes. keeping you grounded, someone just accountability. Just yes. That part. So what, what is Herbalife Nutrition, if you could just summarize it, in case uh, my audience don't know what it is? It's one of the best company I have ever worked for, the best organization I would say that I have worked for. Um, their uh, products are amazing, plant-based. They're backed up by different doctors. We have all type of doctors you can 
if you need to know, I give you the resume. <laughs> but uh, the products are pl plant based. The community, you know, everything is laid out easily, easy for you to follow. You don't have to stop eating the things that you love. You just integrate the nutrition into what you already like and it teach you how to eat healthier, it teach you how to break down your meal, your protein, your carbs, your healthy fat. So all that implemented, it just, it's just a, the best guide you can possibly find outside to help you in your journey. Okay, so my biggest takeaway is that it's very simple and you don't have to go yes. cold turkey with a lot of things. That's hard for people mm -hmm. just quitting all of a sudden. Now they hate themselves saying, oh, this is really hard. So I, I do like that part. A lot of people just like, it's like smoking cigarettes. Like you can't just stop all of a sudden. You want to do it yeah. slowly, incorporate better habits, something to compensate for that. Exactly. So um, you said in Virginia, you got your cert, right? For a personal trainer? Yes, I did. What What made you do that? Um, I always love fitness. I always like to work out. I wasn't big in um weightlifting back then but i wanted to help people i was all about running all about working out not lifting heavy but i still lifting weights um and that that passion that i gained um even being in the military being a um command um fitness specialist that allowed me to give me that extra push that i needed to get my certification and when I got my certification was like the best thing ever. <laughs> so is there anybody you look up to that inspire you to do that? Like, cause you said you always been into it. Like, is it, yeah, like a mentor, like somebody you like watching them do it. So like sometimes people actually, find it really boring. So. Not actually a personal trainer. Um, but on deployment, when we go on deployment, we go through, uh, I was on a surface ship first before submarine. We go on the point with Marines. Marines is all about weight, uh, weight lifting and working out and doing great things, right? So I became really close with a couple of the Marines guys and they will say, let's go with us. Let's go work out. I see you working out, but let's take that workout to another level. And that's when seeing them uh, lifting weights and all that, I was like, yeah, I need to get into this. and. The rest is history. But I don't have like one a specific person. One guy that really helped me a lot and taught me a lot, he passed away two years ago. He was in the military and he's, um, he's very sad because he was the person that put that, this passion, like that desire to work out and lift weight in me. But now he's not here with us anymore. Um, but I do want to ask you, so I know you're a personal trainer, so you probably have clients and you help them. Yes. How do you go about talking to your clients? Cause sometimes when somebody go to a personal trainer, they can be, um, hesitant. They're okay. afraid. How do you connect with people? Like, or so what it, it's all depends. I mean, I go through the basics. I ask them the question, what are their goals? What they struggle the most with? If it's nutrition, exercising, um, I'm a very friendly person. So people are usually very open and I make sure you know I explain things to them that you don't have to stop eating or stop doing the things that you like so you can have a healthy and a great journey it's all about portion control moderation doing things you know not excessively because that's when a lot of people you say you know what I can't do this anymore and they get tired but if you explain things to them ahead of time and let them know, yes, it's not going to be easy. Because a lot of people feel like, oh, it's easy. No, it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to make some sacrifices if you really want to achieve the goals that you want. And you take it from there. Take it a day at a time. Don't worry too much about the finish line. Worry about like, okay, I got to do this today. I'm going to do it today. Tomorrow's a new day. Okay, I got this to do today. I'm going to do it today. And so on and so forth. Okay. Okay. Tell me some, I've, I've seen some of your videos, how you use all these Herbalife supplements, protein powder. What are some things they have? I'm kind of curious. Uh, depends on which product you want. Let's say my tea, the tea is like my favorite thing to drink because I love caffeine. I need it to get to work every day. So um, our 
tea is like plant-based extract of the plants depends on which flavor you have we have different plants i would have known you know i would have my products right here next to me but i don't have it with me right now um Maybe we can my, do that next time my protein my um uh, rebuild strength is like the best post workout you can ever find it tastes amazing we have different flavors and then that, that's whey protein in it and um our meal replacement is soy uh protein but also have 20 uh 20 different vitamins in it and all of them is like the best thing ever okay okay um i had one more qu i had another question give me one second what has been some of your biz biggest obstacles to stay encouraged to work out and eat right glad like you said people start obstacles and things arise what has helped you the most i know you um, did talk about community but you talking about like my struggles or yes, what have yes you struggles me? okay so my struggle i struggle the most when i go on deployment because on deployment the food that they have available for us sometimes is not the greatest and thank god i bring my products with me I try to bring as much as possible. So in case I don't eat their food, at least I have my protein shake, which is a meal replacement as well with me. So I can use those in case what we have is not that good because honestly, we out to sea, we don't get shipment while we out in the water. So we have to do the best we can with what we have. So I think I struggle the most while I'm on the way, especially with the schedule that we have on deployment. At the beginning, I wasn't able to, I had to adjust everything, my working hours when I sleep so I can squeeze in some workouts. Mm -hmm. So my last deployment, I lost a lot of weight because I wasn't able to work out as much as I was working out before. So when I got back from deployment, I had to like start over again and yeah um how do you what, what do you know about never mind sorry what is your opinion of intermittent fasting how do you feel about that i don't know if you do it or not okay so i am not i don't i have done it before but not intentionally okay so there have been times that i have Gone fasting for a period of time, but not because I wanted to, it's because of what I was doing that didn't allow me to eat. I really don't think you need to deprive yourself from eating for that long period of time for you to be able to reach a goal. I feel like if you eat in small portions multiple times during the day, it will be more effective than stopping without eating for 12 hours straight and then eat eat all out for 12 hours i don't think that that's necessary okay i'm gonna ask you a question from my audience let's say we have um <laughs> it could oh, be a God, woman or a male they're they're not very active but um they're, they're overweight probably 20 okay. pounds over but how, how would you encourage them to look at eating right as a good thing and encourage them to work out regularly like Let's say they, they struggle. They think they don't have time. They work a nine to five, five days a week. How, how would that conversation go for you, for this okay, person? So it will be depends. My main thing is how bad do you want to achieve your goals? Because one thing is wanting something like, oh, yeah, I want to go to New York City tomorrow. But how bad I want to go to New York City is what's going to determine if I'm going to make it to New York City tomorrow. You know, a lot of people have the excuse that I don't have time. I don't have time. I'm busy. I don't have energy. Well, if you have to go to work at eight in the morning, why don't we shift your schedule a little bit? Let's wake up at five, work out for an hour. It give you enough time to shower, get ready, eat something before you head out. So it's all about adjusting your schedule. So if you work out, if you work too early and you don't have enough time to go to the gym in the morning or work out in the house you don't have to go to a gym if you're starting you can start in your house you can use whatever you have in the house as an instrument to work out as a tool like a bottle of water put some water in it it has some way at least a pound or two at least you 
you know, challenging yourself and doing something different instead of just sitting in your couch. So I will explain it to them, the difference, how simple it can be just to start. You don't have to go all out. And that's what a lot of people messed up in because they want to go, oh, I see this person doing this. I want to do it too. When you haven't worked out, you are not at that level yet. So baby steps all the time. I said my clients, let's take baby steps. Let's not go too crazy because I don't want them to quit halfway through it. I want them to have that motivation, that inspiration. Okay, I did good today. I'm going to do good tomorrow. Let's go. So it's like no reason to rush one step at a time. And it's all about enjoying the process. Enjoying the process because if you to focus on numbers here, number there, how many grams of this I have to eat, how many calories I have to eat today, you're taking all the fun out of it because you're so focused on I need this calorie. I have to take this amount of calories or I can exceed this amount of calories. Just do everything in portion, everything control, and you're going to have a good, good journey. Okay. So my takeaways from that is assess your schedule, wake up early if you need to take baby steps and just measure the progress and have fun and not overcomplicate it. Yep. Easy. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully my, my audience is taking notes. <laughs> so they can start and not make excuses. Exactly. There's time if you're intentional on making it. Uh, so a little about you. What, what are your goals? Like as far as this for five for the next five years, let's say. Will you for helping people? The next five years. Well, right now I am. One of my main goals is to open my own gym with a nutrition club in it. So I'm working on that. I'm saving, you know, because it takes money to open a gym. So I'm trying to be smart on that part. And um, I also, you know, want to have a family and have some kids running around. And I want to travel. Probably might be still in the military. Who knows? I'm taking one enlistment at a time. <laughs> this enlistment is almost over. So baby step. I am not stressing myself for the future because I don't know what tomorrow has for me. So I can't just... One thing, my main goal, my number one goal is to have my own gym and my nutrition club. If you had to pick a place, where would I be located? Would it still be in Florida? I really love Florida, so I think it'd be here in Florida, to be honest. New York, right. I love you, but um, it's too expensive. I can't do it. <laughs> I can relate. I'm from Queens, so I definitely don't want to go back. <laughs> I'm from Queens too. My family's over there in Queens. <laughs> Same here. Awesome. What else? Where can people find you if they wanted to reach out to you about Herbalife or if they wanted a wellness trainer with your uh, demeanor, someone nice who they can resonate with so they can take those baby steps and reach their goals? Exactly. So I have an Instagram. My Instagram is feedbody. It's going to be feed underscore body underscore by Ellie, with Ellie is like my short of my name. You said v I underscore body. Yes, underscore by Ellie E L I. Okay, that will also or, be below in the comments after the show. Awesome, and uh, my Facebook is Eleanor Lopez. Simple. All right. That will be in the comments as well for my audience if they want to reach out to her, change their life. It's not like just change your health. Like that's that's how you're gonna live the best quality life. Yes. So you that's can have correct. all the money in the world, but if you're not healthy, so you're gonna regret not making that uh important a priority. That's true. Well, I wanna I have actually, so at the end of my shows, I like to do um it's called the I don't active health round. I ask all my uh, guests the same questions in this sort of way. So this is my question for you. Um, okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are some things you do to lower your cortisol levels? Like even as a tra uh, trainer on the military, I know you get stressed at times, but it's always smart to find ways to manage it so you don't sit in that stress. So what are some things you do? Okay, that's Really, really good question. 
at least in personal development, in my car. So first thing, like on my way home, um, I went to work on my way home because I don't want work to affect me and I want to be ready to come to work and give my best. So I listen to personal development, um, audio books. I also go to mental health every month. I have a visit. I go see a doctor and I just let everything out because it's important. I went through depression once and I don't want to have to go through that struggle again. So I think that if you feel like you're stressing out, you need to talk to someone professional so they can help you, help you see things in a different way. And that has helped me a lot. Okay, okay. Hopefully my audience is listening to that. Don't keep it to yourself. You need to no. go speak to somebody, go do it. You don't know how that that uh, may just relieve that anxiety you have, that stress, where it doesn't boil into something that just unleashes exactly. on yourself or anyone. Okay, okay. Personal development. I like that answer. I do the same thing myself sometimes. Awesome. Uh, you my can second, do it every day, not sometimes. Every day? Yes, every day, at least for 20 minutes, even five minutes. I agree. I I like to listen to um what what is his name? I just lost my train of thought. Maybe Tony Robbins. Or I might listen to uh oh man, I'm forgetting his name. Les Brown is I do like Les Brown. I think I got his book right here, Hungry. Awesome. Yeah, I like him. And I also like to listen to like just church music if I just need something calming. Yes, to that keep is my true. spirit and just neutralize instead of listening to rap or anything that's going to cloud my judgment. But let's go into my second question. Um, this might be easier for you since you're a person training wellness coach. What, what are some foods like you like to eat that brings energy to you rather than take away energy? Ooh. That's a good question because I love food. Like, I love food. But one uh, that give me a lot of energy, I would say pasta. I know pasta. carbs, but pasta, I, I'm obsessed with pasta. So mm -hmm. well, I go with just, that. Definitely better than processed foods, and it's filling. It gives you a lot of energy. Okay. Um, my third question. What are some workouts you enjoy to do during your workouts? It's all depends. It's a leg day, back day, leg arm. Day. Yes. I would say with leg day, my number one exercise. Well, I have two. I'm going to say two. My two tap booty. I would say booty exercises. It's going to be. Right. Hopefully the women are listening. If you want to tighten up your booty. Listen, and, uh... ladies. And guys still can do it too. So it's going to be RDLs. And um, hip thrust. Okay, so those okay. are my two top exercises for the booty and the legs. I mean, you're still working your quads and your hamstrings. So I would say that those two are mm. my top two exercises. I thought you were about to say squats, one of them. That's what you hear from most people. It's just, um, I do them because I guess everybody wants to do it. But, um, I mean, squats, don't get me wrong, squats are super good. It's a whole full body exercise technically because the weights are, you know, up here and all that. But um, I think for me, the top two exercises that I enjoy the most doing, even though they hurt like hell, is the hip thrust and RDLs. Okay, okay. Um, let me get into my fourth question. My fourth question is, what is your morning routine when you wake up? I feel like that's, you said, I know you said personal development in the morning, so you can start your day off. Yes. So on a regular day, let's say a work day, let's say this is a Monday, because I love Mondays. A lot of people hear mm -hmm. Mondays. I love Mondays, because that means that I have two days off working out, right, a Saturday and Sunday. 
So Monday is my first day back to working out after rest days. So Monday, I wake up. First thing first, do your bed. Do your bed. So I do my bed. Then I go pee. You know, you got to go pee. Then I wash my face, do all that crazy stuff. Then while I'm doing all that, I'm listening to personal development. Then I go, I'm going to work out first thing in the morning. So I make my pre-workout. I drink it. I do my recording, you know, showing people I'm up and running. Let's work out. Let's get it. And then I work out. After I work out, my post-workout shake. And then I shower, get ready, and go to work. All right. My final it question. Take me like two hours. Okay. Okay. My final question is, how important is a checklist for you in accordance with personal development? So this question is more geared to goal setting. Okay. So, so how do you go about setting up your goals? So I set up my goals. I, it's going to be my short range goals first, and then it's going to be my, like I do every year, I do a vision board. So I plan my whole, the goal, the things that I want to achieve that year, I plan it in December. And then there's going to be things that are going to come up to throughout the year, but I add them up there. But I start from like big picture, right? So let's say that for this year, one of my main goals is to finish my master. I'm working on it. I'm taking classes. So I'm taking classes online. They're not that easy, but they got you got to get them done. So do my homeworks. When it comes to my business now, we're talking about business, that every day I follow up with my clients. I send them motivational messages so they can stay motivated and they can, you know, keep going. I check on them, make sure they have everything they need for the day. If they have any question, any concern about anything, any question about their workout that they're supposed to do, I make sure I do that. Before I get to that office, I work, I do not have my phone. So I need to communicate with them before and during lunchtime that I get my phone and then after work. So I try to make sure my my work list during the day outside work is it's a little long, but I do the best I can. You just gotta, you know, the night before plan what you need to do the next day. So you already know what you need to do when you wake up in the morning. Yeah, that was a gem like, right there. I hope y'all listening. Try to figure before. it out what to do the night before. Plan everything. Even if it's just like take the trash out, take the trash out, you know, take the dog out, take the dog out. So if you plan ahead of time, you are not going to fail. Like there's going to be times that you're going to have to switch things around because you're not going to have something came up or something took you longer. Just adapt and overcome. Just keep going until you achieve the, the things that you were supposed to do that day. And don't go to bed until you finish your list. I love it. I love the discipline. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so actually, I do have one more question before we end. So for your clients, mm -hmm. so you don't just you aren't just online coaching them. Like, how did that process go? Do you just give them workouts, nutritional planning? And I know you also said you send them motivational messages. So I want to know this. So in case somebody want to hit you up, but I want them to know what to expect. Okay. What can they be looking forward to? So it depends. Uh, if I have clients, the, my local clients, I see them and I do one-on-one. -on -one. If you are away from me, uh, then online, like I have, people online everywhere. The good thing about me being with Herbalife is the fact that I have given me opportunity to have business in 95 different countries. So I have peak clients in Germany. I have clients in Spain. I have clients in Japan. So I have clients every, in different places. They have different time frame too. So what I do is um, whenever I get them, we go over the plan. We create a program that's going to work for them and for their goals. So I give them the whole a month plan. If we go with a month plan, it depends how long your plan you wanna get your plan for. We have three days plan, seven days, 14 days, 
21 day, 30 day plan. So are these nutritional plans and workout plans? Nutritional plans and workout plans. So if you just want to try something out, okay, let's, you don't want to commit to the whole month. We tried a lower days plan. You're going to get uh, a meal plan, a workout plan. You're going to get a grocery shopping list. So you know what to buy. Cause a lot of people struggle when they go to the supermarket, they don't know what to get. Also, we'll get a snack list, like healthy snack list. I will give you everything. Okay, this is what you need. Eat this. I give you a ton of ideas of healthy snacks that you can eat throughout the day. And then um, I do, I check on you every day. I will also um, send you videos, workout videos. If you have any question about any exercise, if you're brand new and you don't know anything, I send videos to my clients with the workout, like the whole workout, I record myself doing it. I send it to you, you see it. Like they say, monkey, monkey see, monkey do. I explain the exercise, what it is for, what it's good for. And some, um, how'd you call that? Now I forgot the word. Um, if they too hard for you a different way, if you can accomplish that exercise. Okay, so beginner advance. Yes. So Different we level. change the level of the exercise for you. Okay, okay. She, she's giving you that whole package. <laughs> yeah, I want to say thank you to you for coming on the Eye on Active Health Show. Hopefully no my problem. audience taking notes. They reach out to you. They want that full package. Shoot, that, that's a good package. Leave you with every question you, you have, she is going to answer. So thank you for coming to the show. Thank you for no giving problem. me your time. And it was amazing having you here. Thank you for having me. I want to say, everyone who's watching, you have a good, e good evening. And uh, thank you for uh, checking in to the Iron and Active Health Show.